Hi guys, this is the Basic Gamer and I hope you guys are doing well and having a fabulous time. So we are here to check out something new while well, I'm trying something new out. This was a suggestion, well not a suggestion, a complete build given to me by a friend on YouTube who goes by the name of Koninger Stirov4898. I'm sorry if I didn't pronounce that correctly, man, but you know who you are, and this is an amazing build. And while I never thought I would be doing this and, you know, trying out so many things in one go, but I'm doing it, and it is amazing. So thanks heaps once again. And I would also like to thank my friend, Mr. Shane Bird, who dropped the second Godskin Peeler off for me. Uh, you've been a great help, man. So do check out Shane's channel as well. It goes by the name of s bird so it is s and then b and then double i r d it's s and then bird with double i so s b double i r d s bird on youtube he's doing pretty well uh help and give him a shout out and check out his channel yes sir now uh what have we got so we got two godskin peelers upgraded plus 25 and we have got two Sepokus on it, so we shall get to that shortly. Uh, Godskin Peeler, the first one you can get over here, Windmill Village, in the outskirts of the capital city of Lindell, so outer wall, battleground, side of grace, and duck duck come to the Windmill Village, go up to the top, fight the Godskin Apostle, and you shall have your first one, and like I said, the second one, you either have to go to NG Plus or get a friend to drop it. Uh, to get two Sepokus, you just have to duplicate the Sepoku. And to duplicate Sepoku, you need um, those Lost Ashes of War. And, well, you can pick them up throughout the game. Uh, you can buy one from Mr. Isolated Merchant at uh, this Weeping Peninsula. And uh, once you have that, go to Mr. Grandmaster uh, Blacksmith and then just choose the option of Duplicate Ash War and then just choose Sepoku, choose the Affinity and you shall have it. Uh, we've got Poison on one and Blood on the other and what do we got? Attribute Scaling D in Strength, B in Dexterity, D in Arcane and Attributes Required 70 point, 17 points in Strength, 22 points in Dexterity and look at the Poison build up 144 and the blood loss build up is 125. This is because if you check the right side of the screen, the character status, we've got 40 points in Arcane, so that boosts these two stats. Otherwise, we are character, well, our level is 175 with most of our points in Dexterity and then Wigger, Mind, Endurance, enough points in Strength to get the weapon going and also to get the Commander Standard because we got to use the Rallying Standard for a boost. And if you see the attributes, required for this it is 24 points in strength and 14 points in um, dexterity kina mass gives three points in dexterity so we'll take that and we've got the beast champion armor for well great physical damage negation and poise if you have the rotten vingit insignia don't even think twice use that instead of this one i don't have it so i'm using the vingit sword insignia then we've got the Millicent's Prosthesis. It also gives five points in dexterity, so this is great. Kindred of Rot's Exaltation. Well, it is for poisoning or Rot in vicinity increases attack power. And, well, Claw Talisman. These two, uh, these weapons have got a great range with the uh, jump attack, so great potential for heavy damage. This is what our friend uh, told us, uh, Mr. Coney. Uh, I'm going to look up the name again. Sorry. Uh, Kony Gertsterev. Yes, sir. So we're going to check it out. Uh, raw meat dumpling is for poisoning. That will, well, assist us in this. Uh, Kindred of Rot Exaltation. And then the Blood Boy Aromatic. Well, it boosts your attack power by 30%. And it gives 20% of your stamina increase. Yeah, increases your stamina 20%. And minus 25%. Uh, damage negation for one minute so wow like that is amazing i was like how did i miss that but for the blood boil aromatic you have to have the perfumers cookbook too which you shall find in the shaded castles you start from the shaded castle inner gate uh, side of grace just climb the ladder and then when you go up go into the room that you see it's like a dark library 
on the right side in the corner of the room there's a ladder go up and you'll arrive at this point and you'll see a corpse sitting on a seat on a chair just grab the perfumer's book and it'll show you which items you need to craft this um, blood boil aromatic and for the raw meat dumplings you well you can um, what do you call it craft them but I just picked some up from this Revenger's Shack. You get about 10. Just watch out for the NPC that invades you. So, are we done? Well, Flask of Wonders Physic, yeah. Thorny Crack Tear, Opaline Hot Tear. And like I said, I've got videos on how to get most of these items. And I'll share the links to those videos in the description below. You can check them out. Um, I think I don't have one for the Kindred of Rot. So, I'll just show you on the map. So, Grand Lift of Dactus. Altus Plateau, Earth Tree Grazing Hill, Wyndham Ruins, and then you hit this one, Seed Water River, come through the canyon, and this is the Seed Water Cave. I think you need one or two Stone Sword Keys, and then at the end you shall find two Kindred of Rot uh, enemies, and then once you have them down, you shall have this one. You can always use the Lord of Blood's Exaltation uh, Talisman as well. Now, there is a bit of a process to this. Okay, so first of all, you use the commander standard. I never thought I was going to be doing this, but I am. Now on the second one, we use this one, the aromatic and the flask of wondrous physic. Okay, now for the sepokus, do the second weapon first, and then do the first one, and I take the poisoning at the end because it kind of like it just gives a like it increases our health so like that okay now let's see oh my god Look at that. What else do you want? Oh, Dragon Lord Posita Sax. You Posita Sax. Okay, I want to take him down. But, right there. But, seems like he wants to let us see the damage though like what else do you want he is dead he is dusted I am a little bit sloppy with my jump attacks but you saw what happened over there guys now we're gonna go to another spot okay and I'm gonna show you something something cool well cool or you know there's this giant um, land octopus right and this is one of the he gives you one of the ingredients for your blood boil aromatic so i'll show you so this is the cave of the furrow loon and this guy's got like 16,000 hp so okay gotta remember commander standard then blood boil right then the flask and then we double hand this one so that we can use the poku on the second weapon then the first weapon i know this is a lot of stuff i never even thought i was going to be doing this but it's fun what else are we going to do we're waiting for the dlc i know there are other games out so 16,000 health this guy's got all right oh my god are you trying to make us look bad buddy Oh, look at that. Yeah. Now you're talking. Look at that. 16,000 of his health. Obliterated. Okay, not bad at all. Like I said, I am a little bit sloppy with the jump attacks. But we're going to go in against Stratagon and the Ellen Beast. I know they're immune or like strong against these things. But we're still going to go and check out 
this build against the final boss and see what it's all about. And like I said, this is the first time I'm actually doing this kind of build. So, excuse my um, little hiccups and, uh, you know, the me mess ups that I might be doing that people who are more experienced than me might be picking up on. But hey, I'm always open for suggestions, guys. Do let me know. And yeah. We are using Godric's Great Rune, guys. Five additional points in each attribute. That is a total of 40 points. So it's a game changer indeed. And let's see what happens here. Are we gonna be successful or not? Is Radagon gonna... Is Radagon... Is Radagon gonna be gone or not? Oh my god. Oh no. Uh-oh. Oh, look at that. Radagon is gone. Okay. So, I guess these things don't matter that much against the bestio. But we'll still do it. We'll still do it. Because anything against the beast is... Ah. Okay. Oh my god, how did that miss that one? That would have been clear, clear poison damage, I think. Oh, that is not bad at all, guys. I am happy and impressed with this. Half of this health is gone. That was pretty nice. Pretty nice indeed. Okay, Beast. Maybe you have met your match. Well, you have met your match. Plenty of time. But I think uh, if you get the jump attack, look at that. He is just, he is just gone. Where are you? Where are ya? Where are ya, buddy? Where are ya? Where did he go? Oh my god. He just disappeared. Oh no, he's up in the air. He's up in the air. And he is trying to trap us in his rings of light. But we are not gonna be trapped. We just need to do one more jump. And that is it. Easy peasy, lemon squeeze. Elden Beast is out of commission, guys, and this was enjoyable. I am crap at jump attacks, but this worked out really well. And like I said, if you don't know how to get these items, I've got video links on most of them, and I'll share the links to those videos in the description below. Once again, a big thanks to Mr. Kony Gertz, Derev4898, and also to Shane Bird. Thanks heaps, guys. Uh, if this helps someone out there, please do let me know. And if you've got any uh, suggestions on bills, then please let's let me know in the comments and I'll get to it. And this is it for this one. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. And until next time, happy gaming. Take care and bye-bye.